the recent imposition of significant sanctions on Israel by China. Iran, Russia, and Turkey marks a pivotal moment in the ongoing conflict in Gaza-Palestine. Stirring global attention and sparking debates about the effectiveness of such measures in addressing the root causes of the crisis. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. At the heart of this development lies the decades-long Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Characterized by territorial disputes, historical grievances, and competing claims to land and sovereignty, the recent escalation of violence in Gaza triggered by tensions over evictions of Palestinian families from East Jerusalem and subsequent clashes at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, has reignited international calls for a resolution to the conflict. In response to Israel's military actions in Gaza, which have resulted in civilian casualties and widespread destruction, China, Iran, Russia, and Turkey have collectively imposed sanctions aimed at pressuring Israel to halt its military operations and engage in meaningful dialogue with Palestinian authorities. These sanctions encompass various economic, diplomatic, and political measures designed to isolate Israel and compel it to comply with international law and humanitarian norms. From an economic perspective, the imposition of sanctions by China, Iran, Russia, and Turkey aims to exert financial pressure on Israel and disrupt its economic activities. These measures may include restrictions on trade, investment, and financial transactions with Israeli entities, as well as the imposition of tariffs or import-export bans on goods and services originating from Israel. By targeting key sectors of Israel's economy, such as agriculture, technology, and defense, these sanctions seek to inflict economic pain and compel Israel to reconsider its policies towards Gaza. Diplomatically, the imposition of sanctions on Israel by China, Iran, Russia, and Turkey sends a strong message to the international community about the need to hold Israel accountable for its actions in Gaza. These countries have called for the United Nations and other multilateral organizations to condemn Israel's military operations and take concrete steps to address the humanitarian crisis unfolding in Gaza. Moreover, they have urged the international community to support Palestinian efforts to achieve self-determination and statehood, including the recognition of Palestine as a sovereign state. Politically, the imposition of sanctions on Israel reflects growing international frustration and outrage over the failure of traditional diplomatic efforts to resolve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Despite decades of peace negotiations and diplomatic initiatives, the root causes of the conflict remain unresolved, fueling ongoing violence and instability in the region. By imposing sanctions on Israel, China, Iran, Russia, and Turkey seek to fill the diplomatic void and galvanize international action to address the plight of the Palestinian people. The imposition of sanctions on Israel by China, Iran, Russia, and Turkey has elicited mixed reactions from the international community, with some countries expressing support for the measures as a necessary step to hold Israel accountable for its actions, while others have criticized them as counterproductive and likely to exacerbate tensions in the region. The United States in particular has voiced opposition to the sanctions, reaffirming its unwavering support for Israel and its right to defend itself against security threats. Amidst these differing perspectives, one thing remains clear. The imposition of sanctions on Israel by China, Iran, Russia, and Turkey reflects the growing polarization and division within the international community over the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. As the crisis in Gaza continues to unfold, the need for dialogue, diplomacy, and concerted international action to address the root causes of the conflict has never been more urgent. The imposition of sanctions by China, Iran, Russia, and Turkey reflects broader geopolitical dynamics and strategic interests in the Middle East. Each of these countries brings its own motivations and objectives to the table, shaping its approach to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and its response to Israel's actions in Gaza. For China, the imposition of sanctions on Israel represents a calculated diplomatic move aimed at bolstering its influence in the Middle East and asserting itself as a global player in conflict resolution. China has increasingly sought to expand its footprint in the region through economic investments, infrastructure projects, and diplomatic engagements, presenting itself as an alternative partner to traditional Western powers. By taking a stance on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and aligning itself with Palestinian interests, 
China seeks to enhance its credibility and influence among Arab states and Muslim-majority countries, thereby advancing its broader strategic objectives in the region. Similarly, Iran's support for sanctions against Israel stems from its long-standing opposition to the Israeli government and its commitment to the Palestinian cause. As a key supporter of Palestinian militant groups such as Hamas and Hezbollah, Iran views the conflict in Gaza through the lens of its broader regional rivalry with Israel and its allies. By imposing sanctions on Israel, Iran seeks to signal its solidarity with the Palestinian people and bolster its credentials as a champion of resistance against perceived Israeli aggression. Moreover, Iran's support for sanctions serves to rally support among its domestic population and regional allies, reinforcing its position as a leading anti-Israeli actor in the Middle East. For Russia, the imposition of sanctions on Israel represents a calculated diplomatic maneuver aimed at asserting its influence in the region and positioning itself as a mediator in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Russia has sought to play a more active role in Middle Eastern affairs in recent years, capitalizing on its military intervention in Syria and its diplomatic engagements with key regional players. By supporting sanctions against Israel, Russia seeks to enhance its standing as a diplomatic power broker and strengthen its ties with Arab states and other Muslim-majority countries. Moreover, Russia's support for sanctions may also serve to counterbalance Western influence in the region and challenge the dominance of traditional Western powers in shaping the trajectory of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Turkey's support for sanctions against Israel reflects its broader ambitions to position itself as a leader in the Muslim world and champion the rights of oppressed Muslim communities, including the Palestinians. Under President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, Turkey has adopted a more assertive foreign policy stance, seeking to project its influence beyond its borders and assert itself as a regional power in the Middle East. By backing sanctions against Israel, Turkey seeks to burnish its credentials as a defender of Muslim interests and challenge Israel's policies in Gaza. Moreover, Turkey's support for sanctions may also be driven by domestic political considerations, including its efforts to rally support among conservative and nationalist segments of the population ahead of elections. The imposition of sanctions by China, Iran, Russia, and Turkey underscores the growing fragmentation of international efforts to address the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the broader challenges of conflict resolution in the Middle East. While the United Nations and other multilateral organizations have long been involved in efforts to broker a peace deal between Israelis and Palestinians, the failure of traditional diplomacy to yield tangible results has led to a proliferation of alternative approaches and initiatives by individual countries and regional blocs. The effectiveness of sanctions as a tool for resolving the Israeli-Palestinian conflict remains a subject of debate among policymakers and analysts. While sanctions can exert economic pressure and signal disapproval of Israeli policies, they may also provoke backlash and undermine prospects for dialogue and negotiation. Moreover, the fragmented nature of international sanctions and the lack of coordination among different actors may limit their impact and effectiveness in influencing Israeli behavior. While the imposition of sanctions by China, Iran, Russia, and Turkey may signal a growing willingness among certain countries to challenge Israeli policies in Gaza-Palestine, their effectiveness in achieving meaningful change remains uncertain. As the international community grapples with the complexities of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, it must remain steadfast in its commitment to promoting dialogue, reconciliation, and a just and lasting resolution to the crisis. Only through concerted and coordinated efforts can the cycle of violence and suffering in Gaza-Palestine be brought to an end and a future of peace and prosperity for all be secured. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us what is your opinion on the sanctions set by China, Iran, Russia, and Turkey on Israel and Gaza-Palestine? What do you think will be the implications of these sanctions on the geopolitical landscape? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.